Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next week to 10 days for today's second video, which takes us to around the 4th of, uh, of May. And we'll be able to excel beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles around a couple of weeks. We'll look at the CFSB too at the end of the video uh, for May 2020 itself. Just say that Jamie Friday has been released, so that's your month end look ahead, taking us uh, into the second half of uh, May. And overall, some rather changeable uh, indications from both the Jamie and the CFSB2 uh, for, uh, for, uh, for the next four weeks. So have a look at Jamie Friday and see what's going on there. We're going to have the ENSO update for April uh, this evening. Your ENSO 2020 update will be released. Uh, Gaz, it's around 7 o'clock this evening. Now, for anything else, I say a big thank you to our latest YouTube channel member. So, last week we opened the channel up uh, to YouTube channel uh, members. YouTube gave us the opportunity to be able to do that. Big, big thank you to YouTube for providing us with that opportunity. Uh, and the response has been uh, really phenomenal, absolutely blown away by the response uh, to this. So, big thank you to everybody who has signed up for YouTube channel membership uh, so far. So, I've got to say a big thank you to uh, Dan Boyles. Big thank you to Dan Boyles for becoming a Gazworthy's YouTube channel member. Thank you so much, Dan, uh, for doing that. That's absolutely great and absolutely fantastic of you uh, to do that. Dan is also uh, a patron for Gals of His, and Dan is also a uh, PayPal donor as well. So uh, just a big, big thank you to you, Dan, for your kindness and for your generosity uh, helping to support Gals of His, particularly through these difficult times. It's a very difficult time uh, for everybody. I know and appreciate that, but it's a really difficult time for everyone. And uh, as I say, I'm so uh, blown away by the response that we have had over the uh, past few weeks to our uh, request um, to uh, help fund uh, Gals of His and keep us going while the advertisements, we are primarily as funded, while the advertisements are so very uh, low, the revenue that they are generating at the moment. So it's so kind of everybody uh, to get involved and to become patrons and become donors and also now to become YouTube channel members uh, as well. If you'd like to become a YouTube channel member, all you need to do is click the join button uh, just here on the YouTube channel homepage or with all of the videos. Um, uh, you'll see that join button with all the videos on website. Unless uh, your device doesn't show the join button, a few people have reported that their devices aren't showing the join button, in which case you can get to the join page uh, through uh, a link in the description uh, with video and also uh, on, the, on the homepage, actually, at gazobis.com. Uh, right, so a big, big thank you to all of our YouTube channel members uh, so far, and a special thank you to Dan Boyles for becoming our latest uh, YouTube channel member. Thank you so much, Dan, uh, for doing that. Right, going to start off with GFS, upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles the next couple of weeks. So red line is the 30-year upper air temperature average at all wetter central. Uh, we're at all wetter central today. Uh, and uh, looking at London, so uh, London town, so uh, we're starting off above average with the upper air temperatures at the moment. We've got a few more days of these above average upper air temperatures left to run. We're probably going to shave off a degree or two day by day through to the weekend. And then into the early part of next week, then we find the temperature returning to average. So there will be a cool down taking place over the next week. Going through the first week of May, we are now being to see a few indications of a warm up. So there's a cool down right through the last days of April into the uh, very beginning of May. But as we go through the first week of May, there are a few signs of a bit of a warm up with the upper air temperatures. One or two of these on solar members are reaching quite hot levels now. You remember yesterday, we had one very hot outlier, uh, which went up to around 15 degrees at 850 HPA. We have now got a few more that are starting to move to that direction. I mean, we've got this one just here that goes above 15 degrees, but then we've got this one just there and another one there that's getting quite close to 15 degrees. These ones are a bit lower, but they're above 10 degrees at 850 HPA. So could we be seeing the first indications of our first sort of plume, perhaps our first sort of Spanish plume? of the, the season through the first week of May. That's one to keep an eye on, but it's very extended range stuff. That's a really long way out, of course. More generally, though, we are seeing a bit of a warm-up um, being indicated now through this first week of May, but we can't totally discount these colder outlier members down here. 
Precipitation-wise, loads of dry weather coming up over the next few days um, until we get into uh, like into the weekend and then on into next week or really through next week. Uh, there will be showers, kind of Northern England, Wales, and Midlands on uh, on um, Sunday. And perhaps again on Monday, but uh, really it's into next week when it starts to uh, more definitively unsettle around the early part of May, opening days of May. It looks like we'll have some bouts of rain. Although, probably not lasting all that long, we do see a bit of a drying trend there beginning to re emerge as we go later on into the first uh, week of May and possibly just to the start of the second week of May. So, yes, it did come to a bit more unsettled, but I wouldn't be anticipating an absolute deluge at this stage. Temperature anomalies from the 24th of April to the 2nd of May, overall a little bit below average, which could be a bit of a surprise given this upper air temperature uh, forecast. Um, but next week, it does look as though things will be quite a bit cooler than they have been over the past, uh, over the past um Month three, you had a very warm April, of course. Uh, precipitation anomalies close to average, maybe hints of being a bit wetter than average for eastern parts of England, interestingly. So, like um, Yorkshire, Lincolnshire, down to East Anglia, a little bit wetter than average there. Further north and west, so it is actually a bit drier than average for parts of Scotland and the Northern Ireland as well. So that's how the GFS is looking for Monday. So on Monday, we've got to high pressure out to our northwest. We've got low pressure over the top of the country. We'll be bring, be bringing uh, some showers, particularly to central parts of the country. And into next week, we just turn things generally more unsettled as we come to the end of April. We have these shallow areas of low pressure, bringing showers, possibly some longer spells of rain with them too. Temperatures take a little bit of a tumble as well. So I think there will be some useful rains uh, for the gardens and for the fields uh, into, uh, into next week. Moving up towards day 10, that's how we're looking. It's uh, Monday the 4th of May, and then we get low pressure setting up down to the south uh, southwest of us around Portugal, and we start to pull up some much warmer winds from the south. It's just it is tying in with that lift up in the temperature that we saw with the upper air temperatures. And then moving further on into extended range, um, we go quite warm actually. So we've got a thundery low here across France and northern parts of Spain, bringing in quite a warmish sort of easterly type flow as we go into the more extended uh, range. When we head up towards the end of this GFS run, and we sort of re-establish high pressure again, which is quite a warm ridge that. Uh, so uh, that keeps things quite warm and starts settling things down as we move into the second week, maybe as far as we can go today to uh, certainly the 10th of May. So the idea is still there, but it's rather changeable, rather showering through the opening days of May, but probably not long at all before we get ourselves back to some higher pressure. This is how the uh, GEM is looking. So again, the high pressure is pushed up towards Greenland and Iceland on Monday. Low pressure sitting off the east coast of Scotland. There's bound to be showers and winds are in from a northerly direction, so quite a lot cooler through the early part of uh, next week. Low pressure then starts heading off the Atlantic through the middle of next week, so this looks quite unsettled. This is the last day of April, and we're bringing uh, bands of rain in from off the Atlantic here. Moving towards the opening days of May, that's how we look, still quite unsettled, low pressure, never far away. Everything beginning to shift round to the south, though, with the wind direction, this low pressure sitting again sort of to our southwest and off the coast of Biscay and uh, Portugal, allows the wind to start to pull into more of a southerly direction. That will begin to pull up some uh, warmer winds from the south. And probably still with some outbreaks of rain, though, maybe even turning a little bit thundery, that rain in the southwest. Uh, the ECM looks like that. So, again, the high pressure is away to our northwest around Greenland and Iceland on Monday. Low pressure sitting off the east coast of Scotland, cooler northerly winds, and a little bit on the showery side, too. And they start to bring low pressure in off the Atlantic through the middle of next week. So, yes, this does look a lot more unsettled through the middle part of next week. This will bring bouts of rain to many parts of the country. And quite cool temperatures as well as we come to the end of April. Uh, that's Friday the 1st of May, a week away. And again, still looks quite unsettled. Uh, so there could be further showers, if not longer spells of rain. But then again, we see the wind begin to shift round to the south as we look towards day 10. This is Sunday the 3rd of May. Low pressure then is in the Atlantic. High pressure is ridging through France into Germany. Winds are beginning to tilt, tilt round to the south. And yes, we start to pull up warmer air from the south, but it does look quite unstable. So we've got a low pressure, trough of low pressure just there. We've got our ridge just here. And that looks like it's some sort of thundery low developing around Biscay and possibly starting 
to move northwards. That is a hint of a Spanish plume uh, there through the first week of May. There's the upper air temperatures. Look at that. We're bringing the 10 Celsius ice berm up across England and Wales. 15 Celsius ice firm is across the northern parts of France. Uh, above 15 Celsius, 850 HPA across the central parts of France. It hints that we could go a little bit uh, hot there, actually, through the uh, first week of May. But quite volatile, and I certainly wouldn't rule out the chance of, uh, uh, of some thundery outbreaks with that. So quite interesting, by the time we get through to day 10, could we, could we be seeing... Our first Spanish bloom of the season. Remember last year we had a lot of Spanish blooms. Are we going to have that kind of summer again this year? And these are precipitation type forecasts based on that uh, ECM run from Tomecho.com. Uh, lots of dry weather coming up over the next couple of days. So no problems at all with precipitation. Just one or two rogue showers around, but nothing really um, to speak of. This is through to Sunday, though. By Sunday, have got some quite heavy showers breaking out across parts of northern Wales and the Midlands as well. Showers could even turn a little bit wintry across Scotland Sunday through to Monday over the highest ground, of course. Uh, Monday, so goes back to dry conditions, really, but then through the middle part of next week, you start bringing up some rain from the south, so that brings more widespread rain across England and Wales through the middle part of next week, and then we start to move low pressure off the Atlantic, so yes, we've got spells of rain coming in from the west increasingly, unsettled uh, through the uh, middle and latter part of next week with showers or some longer spells of rain too. Another bout of rain there on the 1st of May affecting more southern parts of the country in a week's time. Um, then heading up towards day 10, those start to tilt winds round to the south. So you notice the rain begins to get pushed up towards the northwest. We start to turn drier, but possibly warmer as well. And that could allow showers to begin to break out. So then we see some showers across parts of England and Wales. And with the upper air temperatures becoming quite warm and humidity going up, they might even be rather thundery, some of those uh, showers. I certainly wouldn't rule it out. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10, which gets us to the 4th of May. May the 4th be with you. And we see that, uh, this is from the Icelandic Met Office, of course, we see we have 21 members of the ECM ensembles, including the control and the operational run with low pressure out to our west northwest. High pressure is to our east southeast. So it's still quite unsettled, still quite volatile, but winds turning into the south, so becoming warmer. But yes, it's an unsettled overall pattern. 17 with low pressure, more centered over to the country. That's just rather, uh, or very unsettled, really. And probably quite uh, quite coolish. And 13 just here with low pressure again to our south. Some ridging to the east. Again, that could be tilting the wind into more of a southerly direction. So it does look as though this first week of May could see an increase in temperatures. But it might be rather volatile. In uh, two weeks' time, these options that we've got, this gets us to the 9th of May, so just into the second week of May. Then we have 18 members of the ECM ensembles with a ridge of above average heights sitting over and to the east of the country, below average heights away to the northwest. Jet stream is pushed off, that's a warm, dry solution. 17 with a trough of low pressure over Scandinavia and a ridge out to west of Ireland, that's unsettled and probably a bit on the cool side. And then 16 with low pressure to our east and some high pressure up towards green. Again, that could be quite cool and unsettled and probably quite chilly as well. So uh, by the time you get through to the second week of uh, maybe, could still be in rather unsettled or changeable conditions and temperatures might take a little bit of a drop. Finally, for this video, we have a CFSV2 is forecasting May. So this is the 700 mm of our height anomaly from a CFSV2 for May 2020. Remember, we looked at this last month. It's going for a lot of northern blocking. It's uh, scaled back, back completely now. So now it's going for below average heights over Greenland and into the North Atlantic and a ridge over Spain and extending northwards towards the UK and over here to our east as well. So that's back to a more uh, to a more warmer scenario and probably reasonably dry, uh, especially for more southern and eastern areas. Temperature anomalies with the CFSV2 for May 2020 are forecast to be above average. It's not a very warm month, it's only a little bit above average, but certainly 
on the above Abbey side. And precipitation normally is no signal, but with a ridge sitting quite close to our south and southeast, you would expect a fairly dryish uh, sort of month, I would have thought. So, uh, the CFS has completely scaled back that northern blocking it was showing last week. That northern block did look quite strange, I have to say. Um, I was a little bit uncertain about it, but it's completely gone away from that anyway. And it's back to a more um, normal type uh, pattern with high pressure kind of to the south and low pressure away towards Greenland and Iceland. Probably keeping us maybe a bit showery at times, but uh, uh, reasonably mild or quite a warmish sort of month. Uh, we won't worry about May, uh, a little bit closer to time. Um, so overall, it looks as though, uh, still very much as it has been really over the uh, over the past few uh, videos. So uh, we're going to be seeing a gradual breakdown of this uh, prolonged dry and warm spell that we have through April. Slowly it turns more showery over weekend to the early part of next week. And then by the middle and latter stage of next week, we actually go unsettled with bouts of rain coming in off the Atlantic. Indications are there, but as we go through the first week of May, we probably go to something warmer. I think we are starting to, starting to see an increasing trend towards winds turning into the south. So we start to pull up warmer air from the south, warmer winds from the south, but quite unstable. Low pressure is involved with this. So if it does turn warmer through uh, the first week of May, if we do get our first sort of Spanish bloom, which is a possibility here with these charts, if we get our first Spanish bloom through the first week of May, watch out for some heavy rain and maybe even for some thunder. Uh, right, that's it for today's safe video. We're going to be back tonight with your ENSO update for April 2020. Busy weekend of updates coming up this weekend. So uh, tomorrow we're going to have weekend forecast. We'll have another 10 uh, day as well. And we may well do an update for uh, the bank holiday that we've got coming up. It's catching everybody out this one. It would normally be the uh, May Day Bank Holiday Weekend or the early May Bank Holiday Weekend. And uh, that would normally be on a Monday, first Monday of May. There was going to be, uh, uh, there probably still will be some celebrations for VE Day uh, commemorations on the 8th of May. Uh, and it's a bank holiday uh, this year. But of course, with the dreadful coronavirus, all of the, or most of those commemorations, I would have thought, are scrapped. Uh, but we still have the bank holiday on Friday the 8th of May. So two weeks today, I believe, is going to be a bank holiday Friday. And it was going to be for VE Day celebrations or commemorations. Um, so we'll probably do an update for that. Uh, Gav's weather is that will just be a normal recording day, by the way. I'll just do JMA Friday and, uh, and so on. But uh, I'll probably do an update for that tomorrow, that Bank Holiday Friday. And uh, also t um, then, uh, that, so that's tomorrow. Sunday, we'll have uh, some uh, summer updates. We're going to do the second season one roundup for the summer of 2020 on Sunday, as well as Gav's weather's Sunday roundup. And there'll be a live stream on the YouTube channel as well to let everybody check in and see how we're all doing while we remain in lockdown. That will be between five and six o'clock here at Gazweathers uh, on uh, on Sunday. Uh, stay safe, stay well, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, but got in Sunday, of course, coming back, uh, coming up tonight. That's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.